Expo and all the anime conventions on the U.S. They're getting bigger than ever, but from the pictures I saw, there's still nothing compared to what's in Japan. <laughs> oh yeah, cosplay in Japan's amazing. Um, at both Kamiket and Wonderfest, there was a cosplay sections, and I, although those places are really great visually, um, the the I think the cosplay parts are the most exciting. Um, actually, because that's just, you know, there's people dressed up in costume and tons of people taking mm -hmm. photos. I've been to Anime Expo here, and it does pale in comparison to what I saw in Japan. <laughs> <Sarapan>. um, yeah, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> so it's a, it's a really hilarious type of a thing to check out. So not many people are going to be able to go to comic -Ed. It's so, there's so, uh, so many people that aren't foreigners there. I mean, it's mostly non-foreigners. So a lot of people aren't going to get to see cosplay except for photos, which uh, you know you can easily take a look at, and uh, that you know you you can check out. So uh, do check that out if you can. Cause, but the, uh, the thing about Comic Ed is that it's also fans art, right? It's not even yeah. like the big publishers; it's fans, like people yeah. who in their bedrooms making their tributes or twists. That or... is the best part about mm -hmm. Comic Ed. Is yeah, you it is a pure fan event, and somehow over half a million people in Japan are interested in what pure amateurs, or mostly amateurs, can do. Of course, there are professionals who are doing, uh, let's say, more risque versions of their comics, and they do that on the side, or they do a completely separate project, and they're able to sell that to the fans. You know, when you, let's just say you went to a, a big event here, and you knew that Jim Lee was release, releasing his own private, like, kind of comic that he was doing, um, you know, of course, he's going to have lines of people trying to check that out. But, like, it, that happens also in Tokyo at Comic Cat. But... On a much larger scale, um, you, it's hard to imagine when you go into room after room of just thousands of people, and then you go outside, and then there's like another fifty thousand people waiting to get in. Uh, it's just an amazing event of uh, celebrating kind of the idea of manga and amateurs who do it. Yeah, and the people just camped out overnight, and the trains full of people. Those photos are just incredible. Yeah, so um, I don't think most of you will check out Comic Cat, but maybe you'll go to Wonderfest, which is more of a toy. Uh, kind of more plastic model or garage kit type of an event. It's 80% of garage kits and maybe 20% of toys and other kinds of items. And that too is in Tokyo. It happens a month after Comic Cat. And uh, again, another great event. Um, more my style. And yeah, you know, I'm more into toys and model kits, less into uh, porno versions of yeah, comics. <laughs> Ninja comics. Yeah. There is Naruto, a, the porno. Oh, and also at Comic Cat, I forgot to say, there is a, a Boys Love Day where you could find a comics drawn by women geared toward women that have boys kissing each other um, sometimes there are famous depictions of characters like there's I did see a prison break uh, comic where you see uh, the characters there like the you know one of the well, warden of the prison and, and, and you know Michael Schofield and then they're making out and it's like wow you know it's so crazy that they even draw that but then there's uh, also an erotic day kind of like the triple X day um, which is the most busy and that is just a one big stink fest. <laughs> it's just tons of people pushing and just trying to buy comics of uh, basically X-rated material. But I think I think he said it's twice a year. This was the winter one, so at least it wasn't as sweaty as the summer uh, one. The summer one is right. notoriously stinky. <laughs> so uh, yeah, people go there and are always saying how smelly the inside is because uh, the people at Comic Cat their shower, their juices are flowing. Huh? Yeah, and also uh, <laughs> they say that. Uh, it is what maybe the two times a year uh, at Wonderfest. Anyway, it's the two times a year that these otaku actually run. 